My name is Mark Hennessy. I'm an historical geographer. I, my research focuses on two main areas. First of all, the historical geography of late 12th and 13th century Ireland. And secondly, the urban historical geography of Ireland. Both of these areas are situated within broader, primarily European comparative frameworks. As a geographer, my perspective on the past is mostly concerned with place, with landscape and with regional variations. In looking at uh, late 12th century and 13th century Ireland, a key framework for me is English imperial expansion and colonisation during the late 12th and the 13th century. Essentially, I look at the complex regional expression of Anglicisation and on the other hand, the persistence of, and evolution of Gaelic Irish culture during that period. In looking at Anglicisation, I have studied a, a number of different aspects of Anglicisation. First of all, I've looked at manorial organisation. And this involves the study of agriculture, of settlement, of local social organisation, of local institutions, and uh, also Gaelic-Irish interactions uh, in, the, in the High Middle Ages. Secondly, I have looked at the evolution of parochial organisation, the introduction of parishes in the late 12th and 13th centuries saw a new alignment of territorial allegiances and also saw the creation of a new relationship between people and church in that period. Thirdly, I have looked at religious houses, the Augustinians, the Cistercians, and that essentially 13th century set of institutions, the mendicant friars, the Augustinians, the Dominicans, the Franciscans and the Carmelites. The introduction of the religious houses saw the creation of new landscapes, both rural and urban, in high medieval Ireland. At present, I am working on the extension of English government to Ireland and in particular, I'm looking at the records of a taxation of Ireland under Edward I in 1292. The records of this taxation allow us to track the distribution of a certain type of wealth in Ireland in that period, but also allow us to look at the reach of English government. And essentially what they reveal is that uh, English government did not really reach west of the Shannon or west of the Ban uh, during the late 13th century. All of these different aspects then can be brought together with others to deliver a broad-based uh, historical, human, cultural geography of Ireland in the late 12th and the 13th centuries. The second area of my research is urban historical geography of Ireland. I am the author of the volume on the town of Trim for the Irish Historic Towns Atlas. And the Irish Historic Towns Atlas is a project based in the Royal Irish Academy and is part of a wider European project, the European Historic Towns Atlas. And one of the aims of the European Historic Towns Atlas project is to demonstrate that urban landscapes are part of a shared European heritage and part of a shared European identity. I gave a lecture very recently on uh, the, a comparison of Lviv in western Ukraine with Kilkenny in Ireland. And what this lecture showed was that despite huge basic geographical and historical differences, that nonetheless these two towns at either end of Europe, east and west, uh, that these two towns did share a common set of elements and a common history going right back into the early Middle Ages and up to the modern period. I am part of the Making Ireland research team in Trinity and this is designed to bring together to coordinate work on Irish studies within comparative and theoretical frameworks in college. I've worked with uh, colleagues in the history department on a number of projects including the Down Survey website project uh, which has been enormously successful both with academic users and with the wider public.